Welcome to the Lynn Classical News from the Virtual Studio. I'm Jail. And I'm Matthews. We are now in week five of our school closure, which is actually pretty incredible. It's gone so fast. It is so great to see all of the posts in the Jupyter Forum. This is a super fun way to stay connected. Uh, all the classes, uh, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, all have their forums in the Jupyter messages and you guys can all message each other. It's a fun way to stay connected, so please keep posting. I'm seeing a lot of interaction from everybody, and that's great. Remember to stay engaged in the learning process by staying up to date with assignments, and don't forget to stay in touch with your teachers. Get in the habit of checking Jupiter daily if you can, and this is also a great time to be learning new things. And a message from the Lynn Water and Sewer officials, please uh, do not improperly dispose of sanitary wipes or non-flushable products, as in, you know, throwing stuff down your toilet, that's not a good way to dispose of it. Please throw everything away in your trash. This is leading to clogged pipes and sewer backups throughout the city of Lynn. So that's never good. Please dispose of these items properly in the trash. Anyone interested in lunch? Well, there's a grab and go service Monday through Friday at Classical, English, Lynn Tech, and Marshall Middle School from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. There are also several local food pantries. See the complete list provided by Principal Dunn on Jupiter. And now to Sabrina for more news. Thank you, JL. Any student enrolled in an advanced placement course, exams will take place from May 11th through May 22nd. Your teacher will notify you of specific dates and times for each subject. Good news, all exam fees have been waived. And Mr. Devin joined MSO Radio this past week to discuss the state of spring sports. Take a listen. Uh, hey, Bill, what's happening within the Northeastern Conference? Any AD meetings or any discussions on on, uh, on the league? Uh, Smurry did a great job the other day. He put together a, uh, a virtual meeting. We, we all met up on uh, Google Hangout, which uh, was just a, a first for me in this age of technology. But um, as you know, the, the Globe and the Herald have, have been covering this uh, pretty extensively. You know, the MIA and the TMC has been meeting on a regular basis, and uh, in a nutshell, right now, you know, with uh, the school down till May 4th, uh, and if we were to have any type of a spring season, obviously it would be uh, it would be it would be awesome, but it would also be abbreviated. Uh, so the plan is right now go back to school May 4th. Uh, you know, instead of having the 11 days of practice or tryouts, uh, the MIA has cut that down to seven. So the first match or, or game or track meet, et cetera, et cetera, would be probably around May 11th or May 12th. And if we do have a state tournament, uh, they said now it's not going to be a full state tournament. It's going to be a sectional tournament, which means for – in classical, you know, we usually have pretty good uh, baseball, softball, tennis teams, et cetera, et cetera. We would just be competing for a North title. Um, and all of this would have to be done by June 27th. Thank you, Sabrina. A message from Principal Dunn. In order to ensure that all students and their families are safe and healthy and know about the resources available in the community, classical teachers need to make contact with every single student. You can help us do this by sending a message on Jupiter, any other way you have available to make contact with the teacher. Please answer your phone even if you do not recognize the number. We will not stop calling and reaching out until we know that you are okay. We need you to spread the word and encourage your friends to be connected as well. If you need anything, food, medical care, academic assistance, or just have any questions, do not hesitate to ask a teacher. We are a family and we are ready to help. Now to Marcus. All right, thanks everyone. Any family in need of internet service, Comcast is offering free service. Take advantage of this offer by logging on to internetcentrals.com to apply. Thanks, Marcus. And a special thank you to all of our frontline employees for their efforts. You guys are greatly appreciated. You're the real heroes. And putting up this first in, during this difficult time, it's never easy. Thank you, Matthews. That's it for today. Stay safe. And remember to take all the recommended precautions and follow the guidelines set forth by the CDC. Wash your hands and also practice social distancing. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time on LCTV.